And this is specifically for um, how to export your a scene in a way that you can re-import it, um, someone else can re-import it um, and actually look at it and use it um, in Unity on another computer. And so the reason I'm, I'm doing this tutorial is specifically for my students. So you know when you get done with a tutorial um, what to export and, um, and how to do it and upload it in a way where when I download it um, I can actually uh, see your project and open it up and, and make use of it. The other reason this is useful um, is uh, as we're going through and if you're if you're if you need help, um, oftentimes we're going to go through WebEx and we'll I'll look at your screen and maybe control your computer to figure out what's going on. Um, but in some cases, I may need to uh, I may need to have you send me your file, and you'll do the same process in order to to make that work. And so um, there's a couple ways we can do this. First, um, depending on what you have selected when you do these steps, is going to determine what part of your project gets um, gets exported. And the, the file type is a Unity package. And basically what it does is it's it's sort of like a zip folder where, um, right, when you compress a folder, you select a bunch of files, you compress them, and then you have this one singular file. That's exactly what Unity does um, to make this Unity package. And so um, what we're gonna do is if you, um, typically you don't wanna select the entire project, right? In this case, um, if I was to, uh, you know, if I come up here to the hierarchy and just select the hierarchy and go to um, assets at the top of the screen, screen and I go down to export package, it's going to have all of the things, right? And in, in this, in this um, example, right, I'm not actually, right, we're not using any of these materials or any of the models um, from the template. Right, we're, we're working on a scene that's totally separate. And so there's no reason to send all of this stuff, um, which takes up a lot of space, um, and include it in this package that we're going to export, right? Because we're just not gonna use it all. We're only gonna be using a small subset of these things for the scene that we're currently working on in this tutorial. Um, now, once you get more further along in your projects and you have a ton of assets, this file is gonna get larger and larger and larger. And if we get to that point, we'll talk about what to do if it's like on the order of gigabytes in size. Um, but right now, it should be really small. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and cancel this. The way that I make sure I only get the things that I need, the things that, um, that I need to have um, for what we're working on, right? In this case, the scene I'm working on is, you know, I called it tutorial one. So, you know, you can actually create new scenes for each tutorial you do in the same project. And then we can, you can just upload those additional scenes. And what's nice about that is all of these things will stay in one place. And then we can go forward. Now, with the first few tutorials, we're actually going to be working on the same scene and just building onto that. Um, and that will continue for a bit. But there may be occasional tutorials where we create a new scene to... Um, uh, to experiment with some new thing, and then we bring that back into the, the tutorial we've been working on. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to your, you need to go to the project tab here, and you know, you should have your assets up, and then in my case, all of my scenes are in my scenes folder, so I'm going to double click on the scenes folder, and then the scene that I specifically want to export is this tutorial one, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I can either right click um, and just go to, and export packages available there, or I can go up to assets and go down to export package. It's really up to you. I prefer right clicking um, because it's faster. So I'm going to say export package. And then you'll see that in this case, I have some scripts that I wrote um, that were that I'm actually migrating to Bolt, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but you'll see that, you know, it's got all the Bolt install stuff on here. Um, it's got my materials that I've created. Um, it's got, you know, the player graph, some other, this physics material, and then a couple other readme things that just get stuck in there by default. But the one thing you'll note is that all those other assets are not here because they're not being used in the scene. 
And you'll want to make sure that this include dependencies is checkmarked, right? That basically means that, um, right? Otherwise, it would just be the scene file, but it wouldn't have any of the scripts or materials or anything like that. So we want to make sure this is selected. And by default, everything that's a dependency is, uh, is attached and ready to go. So we just click export. And when we do that, we give it a name, right? And so I'm going to say, um, maybe I'll call this you know, tutorial one um, submission. And then, you know, you could do a dash and either your name or your initials or something like that, um, which just makes it a little bit easier if I do need to figure out whose is what um, I can. However, uh, I think it may get renamed when it goes through Canvas. Um, so, and then you just go ahead and hit save wherever someplace that makes sense. So I'm actually going to just put it in the main folder. I'm going to click save and then it'll pop up at least on the Mac. It pops up a window and you can see that I have this tutorial one submission, Austin Stewart .unity package, and it's 2.4 megabytes in size. And so this is the file um, that you will upload to canvas um, in order to have completed the tutorial um, for the day. That's all this tutorial, and so this tutorial, you don't have to upload anything, but this tutorial is now, is now complete.